Denzel Curry's back on the cruise Denzel. show. Let's get it. Cruise show. Real 92.3 LA's new home for hip hop. My God. Hey, what's happening? What's happening, bro? How you feel, man? Man, trying to sound cool right now. Trying to sound cool. <laughs> yo, <laughs> every rapper, right? And like, we're off the air, we're having fun, and then as soon as the mics turn on, yeah, the so they're like, yo, what's yeah, good? what's up, <laughs> homie? Um, like, you know, nah, we were just talking about, um, you know, like the everything. bread. Yeah, we was talking about everything. We were talking about like the bread getting stuck in the roof of your mouth when you try to make a steak sandwich, and yeah. it's just, what just was impossible. The last time you drank out of a hose. Pause. Oh, out of a hose. Yeah. Did you, yeah, you, did you ever do that? Nah. <gasps> oh my what? god. As a kid, yeah. Well, yeah. Until my dad was like. Nigga, you're not supposed to be doing that shit. Like, like, Someone stopped you from doing that. My no dad and my that. mom. We not what? Did you do you drink from a faucet? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, I stopped drinking from the faucet. I, I stopped drinking City Punch all day. Uh, I, oh. On occasion, I still like if I'm in a pickle and I need just a quick, yeah, just a little quick just little. Just a little <laughs> but you can't trust it. Like, no, don't forget no, where no. you come from. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Leche Brita. will survive. Leche will survive anything. Uh, he 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 will drink tap water and survive. He'll break his leg, self diagnose, wrap it up, and he's good to go. <laughs> yeah, man, send him out there with bare grills and shit. Like you will see what's going on. Survival <laughs> Man Part Three. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You yeah, he know. recently survived. God knows what, Lecher. What did you I have? I had strep throat, man. I, Ooh, was... man, I got the perfect remedy for that, man. What is it? Ooh. I had strep throat like three times, and let me tell you, I went to the doctor twice. Yeah. And after that third time, I was like, man, I'm going to see what this home remedy is going to do. So I mixed. Look, I took ginger. What'd you do, sea moss? Nah, 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 not sea moss. I wasn't, I wasn't that hip then. <laughs> like, I'm hip now. I wasn't that hip then. <laughs> so back in the day, I was like, okay, how you cure strep throat? All right, I took apple cider vinegar, right? To I Didn't boil, they clear uh, foot fungus up or something like that? I don't know. It, it does a lot, man. It does a lot, it's yeah. good for your hair, too. You mm-hmm. like oh, to get all it? the dirt off, like oh. all the stuff in my hair because they got to wash my dress. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, Denzel, Anyway. Anyway, so let me tell you. Let me tell you. Listen. So you got uh, pause. <laughs> Yo, hello, pause. Look, you get the ginger, right? You get lemon. Yeah. You get the apple cider vinegar. You get the honey, manuka mm-hmm. honey. And then you get the. Uh, 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 did I say apple cider vinegar? Yeah, yeah. you did. I said you started that. with that. And then you got to boil it in water. You boil all that in water and everything, right? You just make sure you get all that in there. You take garlic, chop it up, put it in there. Take some cayenne pepper, put it in there, okay. and you mix it all together. And it's going to smell like soup, but... It's gonna taste like it's not it's, soup. It's not soup, but it tastes it's tastes all right. It tastes all right. And then how okay. many how many days on that? Oh man, you just do it for like one full day of just drinking that. And oh. you'll be straight. I thought you just go to the doctor man, and get I just, some antibiotics. No, I did. I did that twice. I did that twice. Yeah. And then it kept work. coming back. So I was like, man, fuck this shit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this so and see what happens. As soon as I did that, it never came back. Oh. Well, listen, Dr. Curry, it's great to have you here with us. Uh, hey, yo, it's <laughs> that's that's Professor Curry. <laughs> Professor, Curry. <laughs> Professor Curry. Great to I'm have a teacher. You on with like, us today. I'm not a doctor. I'm, a teacher. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not a doctor. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I talked to a college. I was like, hey, I did a whole, I made a whole speech and everything talking to a goddamn really? college. I swear to God. About what? About medicine? No, or? they just wanted to know about my life. So I just, you know, I was like, hey, you got to think about this. Um, so I was like, all right. So I made a whole, <laughs> I had a whole speech before I even started talking to them. I was like, man, all right, I think I got it. Mm-hmm. I've never been so nervous in my life. I've only <laughs> been like, usually, you know, I do shows and there's a lot oh, yeah. of people. Public but speaking is different. Public speaking is very different. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm doing my whole speech. And I was like, today, my name is Denzel Curry. Imagine if you go here. And then you gotta go this way. I was like, you know, I had to do the hand shit too. Like, it was like, like you imagine if you go this like way. A TED talk. I told you that it's not the way. Do a little quick pause, like that little Obama pause and right. shit. And then it's just like, and he start talking to them regular. And then he was like, but today you will call me Professor Zeltron. And then that was the Zeltron. end of the yeah, yeah, Professor I Zeltron. Like it. it was I like, like it. and then when people was raising their hands, it's like, excuse me, uh, uh, they would give him the mic, and they'd be like, uh, Professor Zeltron. Uh, it's like, it's like, yes, <laughs> it's like, you know. So and you're yeah. dying laughing every time someone says. I'm it. not. I'm just in my head. I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers really doing that shit. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm just gonna go along with it. Go along with it, bro. Man, shit, I could be a teacher, man. Yes, God, sir. Man. Melt my eyes, see your future. Melt my mother effing eyes. Yeah. See yo, fire project, motherfucking bro. future. Like, yeah. How would someone be able to melt their eyes? Well, if you see, okay, let's the not give a blue, tutorial right? on hurting our eyes. And you know the sky is blue. 
Uh-huh. Your eyes have been melted. That's that's literally it. It's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's not green. It's not red. It's the you know it's blue. Everybody can clearly see that it's blue. That's mm-hmm. the truth. That's the the melt. When you see something about people, society, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to sound woke. I'm not one of them fake woke motherfuckers. I'm just saying it's like when you stop being naive to shit, even with your own sure. shit. You just know? realizing shit, sure. Mm-hmm. So that's the whole point of the melt. The melt is like exposing, the exposing the truth about yourself, yeah. about society, about what's going on, just like a whole lot of things. So when I first made the title, right, I just thought of it like, okay, this shit just going to be a hard-ass title, like Melt My Eyes, See Your Future. It's like one of them sayings, like, yeah. you know, with albums like Only Built for Cuban Links, yes, uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Men on the Moon in the Day. Like, yeah. those are like sayings. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh, so uh-huh. I wanted a saying that was going to, you and know, statements. That, 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 it, it was a statement. That's what I wanted to have sure. when I was like creating the title and the name of it. And then I didn't develop the meaning of it until I was actually working on the album. And I started working on the album during 2020. Because in 2019, 2018, because yeah. 2018 I dropped Taboo. Yep. Did that. Yep. Like I had everything I had to say at that yes, point. Sir. You know what I'm saying? 2019 I didn't have the emotional intelligence to make Melt my eyes, see your future, or even understand the meaning of the title at the time. Going right? Through the motions. Mm-hmm. Going okay. through the motions. Okay. I didn't understand any of it. I cut my dreads. I got my dreads back. I didn't reattach them. These are all new. That, yeah, like my hair. Say that's real, right? Those are, those these. Are, are real. And, and, yeah, my my hair is real. You can't touch them. I can't. Well, I, <laughs> You Jackie know, touches it. No, no, ja- no, 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 Jackie, Jackie, I know, I Jackie. Know, I'm not listen, you. listen, consent, consensual. You know, you gotta, <laughs> right, you right. gotta ask me about that. I gotta do the same for you, man. So it works both ways. That's homie. the way it works. Absolutely. That's the way it works. It's the way of the world. So, anyway, when it came down to, all right, I'm working on this project. Working on this project. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Then it became about, all right, melt my eyes. It's about awareness. And then I'm like, that's lame as fuck. Like what? <laughs> like. Who gonna name an album awareness? Like that shit is like, yeah, you gotta be aware. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Watch like this. Watch, this. watch this. The Usher. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, yeah. like, nigga, nah. Like, okay, I'm aware. I'm aware of what's going on around me. I'm mm-hmm. aware mm-hmm. there's riots happening. You seen all the looting that was happening yes, sir. during the we riots for George Absolutely, Floyd. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? And just the way everything was happening around the time in Los Angeles and around the world, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was seeing that, seeing it on social media, seeing it in person, seeing just all this stuff. And then I was just like, damn, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Then we got a sickness that's like killing everybody. It's mm-hmm. mainly killing old people and it's killing people that's very young. And it's coming mm-hmm. back, man. Yeah. We got to be careful. Nah, we got to be careful with monkeypox. Monkeypox, too. I monkey thought it had it over the weekend. No, he thought he had it over the weekend. Oh, that's crazy, but boy. No. <laughs> but we're good. Oh, that's no, crazy, he doesn't. Boy. He doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, 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 you giving me a hard time. Oh, 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 no, I got to pull a Drake. I got to pull it. <laughs> pull a Drake. Pull put a some, Drake. Put some hot sauce, sauce on, on it. it. Yes, <laughs> put some hot sauce on but that yo, shit. So when you're working on a song, you're creating a song like Smell of Death, right? What's going through your mind? The smell of death. The smell of death. What, you have know? you smelled the smell of death? Yeah. When you see like a dead thing on the side of the road. Dead animal, that's that distinct animal. smell. That's, that's a distinct smell. You yeah. smelled that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But the smell of death, that was like more of a metaphor because the song, if you, because the beat, was given to me by Thundercat. Me mm-hmm. and Thundercat hung out throughout the whole quarantine. Yes, me, him, Dot, um, and a lot of other people, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, that worked on this project with me. We all hung out. We It wasn't on no musical shit. It was just like, we so happened to do music, but we was just mainly hanging out yeah. just to hang out. Big vibe. Okay. So um, when it came down to the smell of death, I just heard the play. You smell it? That's the smell of death. Whoa! Like, and it came from one of my favorite animes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all watch anime, right? You know? I watch a few animes. You're anime. lying. No, I and watch Death Note. You're lying. Anime. You lying, Jackie. You lying. You Death got Death goddamn lies, Jackie. Anime, Jackie <laughs> lying. <laughs> Jackie a bold face lie. She lying. Look, she I laughing right Hente. now because she knows she lying. She lying. I like, watch Hentai. Nigga, oh, that's how you know man, you jacking off the cartoon? Like, oh lord, jeez. Shit. Oh, he said oh, it wrong. That's God. how you know. Like, when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, you beating your meat to <laughs> cartoon. See, <laughs> I thought it was a judge free place. Hey, it is a judge free place. Then why but, are you uh, judging? I'm, I'm not judging, nigga. I, ain't, I, I don't got no hammer, nigga. Like, I, you don't see me with a robe, nigga. It's a gavel, like, gavel <laughs> hammer. It's the same shit. Does it? Do it go like that? It's a fucking hammer. Like, it's, do they have two flat surfaces, man? God damn! Okay. What is it? A mallet? Back to the anime. Back you know what I'm saying? Back to anime. Yeah. So yeah. it came from one of my favorite animes that sparked the whole thing, right? Yeah, so it came from this anime called uh, uh, Fist of the North Star. 
So it's basically about two martial artists in a post-apocalyptic world. Imagine Whoa. Bruce Lee in Mad Max. Okay. That's what that yeah, is. Yeah, vicious. And the okay. only two places, like, the strongest places are, like, there's the Fist of the North Star, which is in a um, martial arts school in the North, and the Fist of the South Star is a martial arts school in the South. Mm -hmm. And they're, like, pretty much the most powerful people on this earth. So it came from that anime. And basically I was like, oh, shit. And then you hear the, e -e -e -e. I'm a big fan of Quentin Tarantino, mm -hmm. all his movies, mm -hmm. uh, all of that shit. So Sounds I was like a like, score. Yeah. You know? So it just, so when I went to go work on it, and it was just like, united they fall, divided I stand. It was just talking about the U.S. and everything that was happening when it comes down to war, everything with riots and yeah. all that shit. So I just wanted to, like, put it into an interlude, you know? Oh, you went and, in. Yeah. <laughs> you went in, man. <laughs> and, then, and then the OG, T-Pain, yeah. is also on the project. Mm -hmm. That guy's OG, living legend, T-Pain. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, what? Man, that's a living legend to us because I'm from Florida. You know what I'm saying? So when it came down to T Pain being on yeah. the project, man, I really just wanted him to. Uh -huh. I really just wanted him to like really listen to the tracks that I was working on because I was working on. I was like in the pre stages of Melt, and you know I got a couple tracks off. So I sent them two. I sent them Worst Come to Worst. That's on the project, and I sent them Troubles, which he's on. And he was like, "You gotta put both of them bitches out at the same time." And it's just like, I'm just like, I'm not doing that, T Pain. I'm, I'm just not. <laughs> do it again. Can you do T Pain's voice one more time? Because that was funny. He was like, "Both of these songs go hard, but you gotta put both of them bitches out at the same time." See, that's the shit I would do. And then I was just like, "All right, T Pain, I'm not doing that." Like, you know. Yeah. And my manager sent it to him. And he was like, we're going to see if we can get T-Pain on this. So I'm like, all right, for sure. You know? And basically, like, he hit me up. He was like, yo. And I'm like, yo. I'm going into martial arts class and shit. Like, I'm like, what's up? You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. He didn't hit me back. He hit me back the next day when I was at my homie Power's house. And I hear his verse come on. I go crazy. And I was like, fuck. Damn. He just kind of snapped on this shit, man. <laughs> Like I was Did like, you go back? I was like, should I go back and do it? And they was like, no, 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 it's straight, it's straight. And I was like, y'all set me up, nigga. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? Fuck it, it's T Pain. He killed this shit. Yeah, that's the that's Let what matters. Live. Let it live. That's yes, what sir. matters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have all these other tracks. I have 13 of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's 14 <laughs> tracks that I total. killed. <laughs> that I had killed. someone had it been someone your age. Oh yeah, I had to go back. Yeah, in. Yeah. Go back. That's that's T Pain. That's different. If yeah, it was yeah. like Uzi or something, I'm like, nigga, no. <laughs> Not today. Not, not today, on this motherfucker. Project, no, <laughs> fuck no. You're not killing me on fuck my no. shit. You're not gonna Eminem me on my own shit on mm -mm. Renegade. You oh feel me? God. Well, who M yeah, nah. That's but that's M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's Eminem. Yes, sir. It's Eminem and M. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, melt my eyes. See Eminem. your future. <laughs> <laughs> it's the project, man. Uh, make sure you stream it, man. Yep. Um, Deluxe coming soon, Deluxe bitch. Coming soon, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you think you know this is a speculation, right? Do you think it was Kanye throwing stuff at Kid Cudi at Rolling Loud? No. Who was it? People. Just people. Fuck niggas. Kanye fans. Fuck maybe, niggas. Maybe. I ain't saying Kanye fans. I'm not going to throw Kanye in there. These motherfuckers, this is this how stupid these niggas is, Go right? Ahead. Excuse me. How you going to throw shit on the stage when you not supposed to be mad at Cuddy for filling in a spot? spot you feel me? Mm -hmm. Be mad at Kanye for pulling out. <laughs> right. That's fact. That is like, facts, the fuck? First of all, y'all did all that shit for no reason just for Kid just for Kid Cudi. Just for Kanye West to come out any fucking way. Anyway. To perform a song Kid Cudi's on. Like, you're fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like, if you seeing this and then there was like a little fuck nigga that was like, that was like, oh, I'm going to throw this on stage. Yeah, we made Kid Cudi get off stage. Bitch, if I was your daddy, I'll beat the shit out you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I feel man, it. I feel he, it. he filmed it like, oh yeah, look how cool I am. We made him get on man. man, I will smack the dog shit out your bitch ass. Like, this is like, ugh. You know, we've seen like Cardi people. I don't like people. Cardi like, I fucking hate it. To someone grabbing her, right? So did Roddy Rich. Uh, you see people jumping on stage all the time. It happens in comedy as well. It happens at the at the Oscars. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's happening everywhere, right? So right. is that is that a fear of yours? Do you have something implemented? In case hey, man, if somebody jump on stage trying to try me. They got to subject to these hands, nigga. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a wrap. You don't have to do the fighting. We oh, yo, 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 oh, oh. Denzel, Niggas is getting tackled. Niggas is getting smacked. Counsel, it's all not, fair game at this point. You're not fighting anyone. Nah, nah, nah. You Fuck that shit. You need someone up there to fight for you. Why? Because you're performing. I could perform he and whoop a nigga ass at the same time. <laughs> I could do that shit. Somebody threw a bottle at me. I threw that bitch right back. Like, I didn't, and kept performing. I don't give a fuck. Like, fuck you. Like, you ain't gonna do that shit to me. Fuck that. Like, mm-mm. 
I was raised with too many brothers. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> right, right. You've had to fight your no. way out of everything. No, fuck no. I had to get bullied by them and outside, nigga. No. <laughs> it's over. Same. That shit's over. You had a chance when I was like 16, 17 yeah, yeah, when yeah. I didn't know no better. Bro, now, nigga, I'm 27. No nah, why, fuck why that. Why were you uh, being bullied? Man, what, nigga, I'm weird. The fuck? <laughs> like, I'm a weird different. ass nigga. Like, I'm I'm, nah, different. nah, nah. Fuck that. I'm telling you how it is. Right, I'm yeah. weird. I'm a weird ass nigga. I'm a weird ass nigga. You know this. And then if you know me, you know how weird I could get. You know that. That's why we love you, man. Then, man, fuck that. That's why we love everybody. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I understand. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's one of them things. Mm -hmm. That's why I was being bullied because I didn't like the normal shit that everybody else liked. Mm -hmm. I remember when people was bumping Boosie and shit when I was in high school, and I was like, yeah. I'm gonna listen to UGK. It's like, hey, can't check this guy out. <laughs> it's like this nigga say he gonna listen to UGK. Well, nigga, UGK signed Boosie, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> so it's like, shut the fuck up. Like, them motherfuckers love pimp. Like, have you been through therapy? Yes, you have. <laughs> You have. I'm very vocal. That's great. I'm sorry. No, no, I can tell. Don't apologize. You, no, we love that. You continue to tap into who you really are, and it takes guts to be yourself. Yeah, because everybody's trying to be another nigga. I want to be Denzel. Mm -hmm. Why would I want to, nigga? Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. I can never be Jordan. I can aspire mm -hmm. to be like Jordan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't be Jordan. Mm -hmm. I can't be Kobe. I got to do, like, their mentality for greatness that's what I have to emulate. Not being them verbatim. You get what I'm saying? Sure, that's absolutely. where people get fucked up. Everybody's not cool these days. Everybody want to pretend that they cool and shit. But a cool ass motherfucker know when to be his motherfucking self. Mm -hmm. Everybody is copies. Everybody is copying mm -hmm. each other. Everybody doing the same shit. Like, oh, he's cool, so I'm going to copy him and maybe mm -hmm. I'll be cool too. Probably, probably. But you was probably cool at being your motherfucking self. You could make that shit cool. You feel me? Yeah. That's that's my whole message. Like, be your motherfucking self, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and real shit will follow. If you really genuine to yourself and you know who you are, bro, nobody can fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Nobody. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And no one can knock you off your square if you know who you really are. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What do you think of Drake's last project? Uh, I listened to a couple songs on it. Were you disappointed? I like I like Jimmy Cooks. I like Jimmy okay. okay. I okay. ain't gonna say I'm disappointed or nothing like that because I didn't give the project a chance. Okay, I was gonna say, That's was not, it better than Certified? Uh, I can't tell you that mm -hmm. because I didn't hear the project in its entirety. Mm -hmm. I can't really say, hey, this is better than this project. I heard Certified Lover Boy and I was like, it's all right. Oh yeah, no, we know you're not a fan. You're right, right. No, it's not even that. I'm not a fan. I'm and a Donda, fan of you weren't, you weren't, you weren't too happy about I, either. What, listen, I just know that Drake has the. Um, capacity of being an even greater artist. I'm mm -hmm. just saying it from a fan standpoint because mm -hmm. we all fuck with Drake. Mm -hmm. A lot of people fuck with Drake. 100%. Everybody listens. Everybody to it. does. But you know he don't have to do the bare. He you know he you don't have to really go all out for his projects because he's already established himself as an MC, as a talented singer, and as a talented artist. But at the same time, I'm just like, bro, like, where's the creativity? Like, I just want to see more creativity. Like, the cover is trash, and that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have to take it for face value. Like, that's right. just how I felt about it. Yeah, but you know, I this seen, is a competitive sport. Yeah, it is a competitive so sport. So when people say things, you know, blood starts to boil. Yeah, blood can boil because I have an opinion. Just because I'm not the norm. And if anything, bro, motherfuckers be like, hey, your friends ain't going to tell you the truth. I will. And then you'll see me as an enemy. Good, because it's only going to make you better. Mm -hmm. And you're only going to make me better. I'm not in a position to be like, hey, I could talk, to, talk about this person. Look. I know where I'm at. I know I don't have too many years on me. But at least I know I could do what I can do with less resources. Mm -hmm. And you have all the resources in the world to make the greatest thing possible. Because you did it before. You did it with Take Care. You did it with Nothing Was The Same. You did it with If You're Reading This Is Too Late. And that was only a mixtape. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You did it with um So Far Gone. I love So Far Gone. I grew up on So Far Gone. I like Comeback Season. I like all that shit. Yes, sir. And I'm just seeing, like, you talking... I'm talking from the middle school child that was listening to Drake when he was first coming up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just seeing it now. I'm just also like, that 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 middle school child though has a hard time when artists grow, hmm. right? So do we think it's growth, and we're just not happy with their growth or their direction? No, it's not even me not being happy with his growth. It's just like it could just be packaged. Like it just could have been better. I feel like it. he could still say the same exact things that he was saying on CLB. He could say the same exact things that he said on um never mind honestly never mind. Mm -hmm. But I never heard honestly never mind. I only heard Jimmy Cooks off that, and I love that record mm -hmm. with him in Twenty One. You know what I'm saying? I like Knife Talk that was on CLB. Mm -hmm. 
Also, yep. you know what I'm saying? Or uh, what's that? Champagne poetry. That's mm-hmm. great. You know what I'm saying? And it just felt like you know him and Kanye. They was both doing this, and we were waiting on two spectacular. That could have been a moment to have two spectacular albums out at the same time that could make history the same way that Kanye and 50 Cent went at it with Curtis and Graduation mm-hmm. that is my explanation for the whole thing because mm-hmm. Graduation was great and 50 Cent was on top of his game at yeah, that point yeah, yeah. in time like we could have had another moment like that that was a moment that they could have capitalized on and make great projects to outdo the other because they were enemies and enemies are only going to make each other better like rivals you get what I'm saying Goku and Vegeta you got Goku and you got Vegeta <laughs> Goku is going to make Vegeta better and Vegeta levels up Goku is going to only want to level up Goku is going to level up Vegeta is going to only want to level up and then eventually their powers combine and they become the greatest duo of all time Yeah, you know what I'm saying Drake openly admits that he was influenced by Kanye West yep. you get what I'm saying yep. yeah. and Kanye West knows that curated and his set for the free Larry Hoover concert as yeah, well yeah exactly look at that whole set that fan. was gangster yeah. you know what I'm saying that was a gangster moment in time and they could have used that that same moment that we just seen to free Larry Hoover they could have did that with both CLB and Donda that's all I'm saying and that was what I was trying to get out and I was just speaking for you know what I'm saying? As much as people want to see me as like hating and all this shit, first of all, I'm not a hater ass nigga. So I'm going to tell you the truth. And if it comes off as hate, man, so be it, bitch. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> but I'm I telling you it. this because I could understand, like, for I'm doing this for the sake of people's taste level. Their taste levels are already high. Absolutely. So if they elevate each other, it can only get better. It mm-hmm. can only get better. Mm-hmm. You better. You bring it in little Baby, he's fire. You bring it in Kodak, he's fire. You bring it in uh, Kid Cudi, you bring it in all these guys. And it just creates this whole synergy of just like them trying to outdo each other but making the best thing possible so they could not only give the culture what they want give and surpass expectations of what people think about them sure, already. Sure, sure, yeah. And it will only add to them, add to their palette. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know Kanye was busy with Don, with um, the Donda stuff and with all the uh, 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 Yeezus sure. stuff mm-hmm. and everything and what he want to do. And I know Drake is probably busy with a lot of things he's got going on. So it's not their primary focus because they got so many avenues that they're channeling their stuff through. So I can understand that as well. But at the same time, when it comes down to that music, I don't care, give a fuck how long it takes. Like take your time. I want to see the best out of these artists. Mm-hmm. Point blank, period. Mm-hmm. And that goes. That doesn't. Just Are you go saying take your Kendrick Lamar time? Kendrick Lamar time. Look, but look at that. That's pretty good too. Mm-hmm. He took his time. Yes, sir. He said he was in the writer's block for two years. I understand. He having took a writer's his block. fucking time. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. He can do that because he already established himself. He's an established artist. Uh-huh. Me, I'm working to be an established artist. Oh, and I hear it, my guy. I hear it, and I see it. you've been grinding man you're everywhere everywhere i see the grind i'm like yo he's trying to take himself elsewhere he's trying to take himself over there the thing is i want i want to have or the hit there. songs that these major label artists have however i own them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. difference mm-hmm. 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 i don't want to be a highly paid employee is the game rigged is the game fuck yeah it's rigged you know what i'm saying it's hella rigged it's always been rigged. It will always be rigged. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Do you I think labels dr- have life insurances on their artists? I mean, I would get into all that, bro, but we got to talk about that another time. That's a deep conversation. <laughs> you know yes, what I'm sir. saying? That's a deep conversation, nigga. I'm trying to get weird. <laughs> you, know what I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get assassinated or career killed because, like, <laughs> motherfuckers, like, you know what I'm saying? Being like, he's on to us. He's on to us. Like, you know? Nah, oh, none gosh. of that shit. Theories, so, theories, no. You feel me? I have like, the Illuminati on line 10. Do you want to talk to them really quick? Oh, uh, nah, I don't want to talk to them. No, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Let's you know? talk about smoothies. Hey, yeah, yeah, smoothies. <laughs> What's your favorite smoothie to make? It was age. Strawberry banana, nigga. Like, oh, it was like, yes. so easy, right? You know, yes. put, the, put the honey on that hoe. Yo, walking <laughs> sounds crazy, by the way. Key Glock on it on the mm-hmm. remix, man. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Key Glock. Shout out to Key motherfucking yeah. Glock. Rest in peace, young Dolph. You feel me? Uh, you you know, you've been killing it. You've been working hard. I've been saying this for a week. Yo, Denzel, we got to get him up here, man. He's got a project out that's just fire and just hits in a different way. And now I see, you know, and, 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 and we've interviewed you before, but... Um, you know, you have this energy about you that that just bleeds through that music. So congratulations, bro. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. It took a while just to find that confidence. I wasn't really too confident in my music. Mm-hmm. Like me, I'm the type of person that I hate looking at my old work. Hate it. 
I'm, I think that's just well, the curse each year of you start fresh. Yeah, each year I start fresh. I start new. Like play something old right now, primo. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's gonna cringe. I don't want to cringe, nah, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. Like, but you also have a lot going on too. You have hard summer. You have. I mean, there's there's a couple things going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I'm just. I want to just dominate. I don't give a fuck about all that other shit. Like it's kind of like martial arts. Like I don't focus on what other people are throwing. I just gotta focus on what I'm throwing. Yes, sir. Because either way, something is going like. It's going to get answered. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, if somebody throwing something, I just block, 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 block. block. What are you doing? What you got do? jujitsu or? Mm-mm. Muay Thai. Muay Thai? Muay Thai. How long have you been doing that for? Five years. Five years? Jeez. Yeah. Dang. Been doing oh, so you so you ready for someone to jump on stage then? Oh, yeah. I'm praying for <laughs> it. That's what. Nah. <laughs> he's he training he for so. it. Nah. <laughs> the thing is, I want my whole fan base, like, my whole fan base to be, like, really militant. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I want them to all understand, like, hey, if there's something that you like, do it to the fullest capacity. Yeah. I want to create doctors, lawyers, great dancers, great fighters, great everything. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Just by them looking at me and my mentality when it comes down to this music and what I like doing. Like, I don't I'll tell just, you, it's contagious. Yeah, that's what I want. I just want people to understand, like, bro, I don't play with this shit. Like, back in the day, I didn't understand what it was until quarantine happened and it was two years off. That's when I was like, damn, I was really taking everything for granted. Sure, like, yeah. I was well, taking a it lot was just, of things uh, for granted. It was just us along with our thoughts. You feel me? And a lot came to fruition and a lot got a lot more, you know, clearer. Mm-hmm. And we started realizing a lot, man. And what really is important <clears throat> yeah. to who we are. That's true, man. And it's just it's just a whole thing. Like, you know, you had to cut people off. You got to take certain people out of your life. You mm-hmm. got to re reevaluate yourself and you got to really look at your flaws and like yes, try sir. to figure out how to work through them you know yes, and sir. i just realized like I, you know being an artist they expect you to be like you got to be perfect you got to dress up this way you got to look this way you can't really talk to people you can't really look at people you got to do this and that and fit in the norm and you got to be super cool so nobody don't know i'm like man i'm fucked up <laughs> slightly you know what i'm saying <laughs> So, so are you. You can't judge me. <laughs> right. We right. all are. Everyone you know is. Everybody's got a little fuck nigga in them. So it's like. <laughs> even Jackie. Even oh Jackie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. Sorry, I Jackie. I'm just taking all the hits today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to hit you, Jackie. No. <laughs> we ain't trying to hit you. No domestic violence. We, we no. Don't. No. Oh what? We don't. Mm, none of that. Oh, I was like. No. You know, I feel like hitting somebody hit let you. That's fine. Yeah, no, I don't want to hit milk. Go, like, no, milk. I don't want to hit him. <laughs> nah, I come in peace. I just recovered from strep throat. Full relax. That's right. That's right. We're going to punch you in your throat. Melt oh, my yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. See oh. your future. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.